it's that time of year again where I get to tell you my favourite curly hair products for the last year. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be talking about my favourite products of 2021. Because we're in 2022 already, how did that happen? Let's hope for a good year. So I was debating with myself how I was going to do this video because I have so many products that I really do love and you know I want to tell you about because they're excellent products but if we're really going to be strict and call this my favourites of 2021 I decided to cut it right down. <laughs> I mean if you could see what's in front of me right now it's still a lot of products but I really just wanted to make this kind of my ultimate favourites of 2021. There are a lot of other products that I use and that I love and I think are excellent um, but they aren't in this list. So if you see me using something and you think, well, why is she saying that's great and it wasn't in her favourites video? It's just because there are so many great products and it's really, really hard to pick. So I'm trying to be as fair as possible and say, well, these are the ones that I have used the most in 2021. So the first category is scalp and it kind of like overlaps with the second category, which is shampoo, but we're gonna start with the scalp. So first of all, um, I want to talk about the Umberto Giannini Scalp Scrub. Um, I have a code, I have codes for most of these products and I will link all of the products and all my codes in the description box for you. So I'm not gonna mention discount codes and stuff as we go. Um, but Umberto Giannini are budget friendly products and this scalp scrub is amazing. Now it actually has micrograins from natural walnut shells in it, which is like the physical scrub. Then it also has enzymes from pineapple. So you use it, you scrub it and you leave it sit for a few minutes and then those pineapple enzymes work their way through, you know, that dry skin that builds up, any flakiness on your scalp and it's just, I love it, it's brilliant. And the other scalp thing I want to mention is the Curl Smith. Now there's a detox kit which comes, <sighs> my husband keeps sneezing downstairs. <laughs> there's, there's a three step detox kit and there's a conditioner in that too, but really these two steps for me are the winners. Um, and then you put on the primer first, which kind of protects your hair and scalp. And then it's, it's a scrub, a wash and scrub um, probiotic and it's a scrub but you can almost not feel it's a scrub because it's so fine um, they work really well together and when I use either the Umberto Giannini or the Curl Smith um, detox I find that my scalp it feels clean but it's not stripped um, because oftentimes if I use a, a slightly harsher shampoo my, I know that my scalp is clean but then it actually goes flaky because it's dry and stripped neither of these do that but they clean whilst also caring for the scalp now, as I said, that kind of overlaps with the next one, which is shampoo, because of course, one of those is a shampoo. Um, but one of my absolute favorites now, <laughs> you can see that this is a true favorite. It's empty, completely empty. And it's the Naughty Detox Dynamo. Now this is a clarifying shampoo. It's a sulfate free clarifying shampoo and it is a chelating shampoo, which means it's gonna get rid of any hard water buildup that you might have, any mineral deposits on your hair, but it's still gentle. And I absolutely love this. It's gentle enough that you could use it like once a week if you needed to, if you lived in a hard water area. I don't, I live in a soft water area, but I still just find, find this stuff absolutely brilliant. I love it. The Naughty to the Rescue shampoo as a more kind of regular use, not clarifying shampoo is excellent. It actually has wheat amino acids in it, so it has a touch of protein. It's just an excellent, gentle shampoo for, you, for regular use and um, it's what I reach for probably the most out of any shampoo that I own. And this baby, now this is my second tube, my other one was completely empty. This is a new tube and this is Umberto Giannini again, banana butter co-wash. Now I used to be an exclusive co-washer and then I discovered that my hair just wasn't thriving with, with exclusive co-washing anymore so I switched to using sulfate free shampoos. Since doing that, um, I haven't tended to co-wash my hair very much at all until this came along. <laughs> so um, this stuff is divine. It smells amazing and it just like cuts through your hair. There's something about a good co-wash that you can feel it just, the slip is amazing. You can feel it lifting the grease and the dirt from your scalp as you're scrubbing with your fingertips. When you co-wash, you do have to manually scrub your scalp more. You have to do that to, to make sure that you're removing buildup. Um, but this stuff does a lot of the work for you. It's just absolutely stunning. And I use this on Elodie, my three-year-old's hair, pretty much every wash day as well. Um, and for her hair, 
it's like a one step. So I, I co-wash with it, make sure it's right through and then rinse it and that's it. So I don't have to then do a separate conditioner for her. I just go straight to leave-in conditioner. For me, I still tend to use another conditioner and squish to condition, but um, it's just phenomenal. Absolutely love it. And next we're gonna go on to regular conditioners. Now, it's a bit of a lonely category. This is the only conditioner that I have in this category because this is the only conditioner that I would say I use again and again and again and again and I've been through bottles, well tubes, tubes and tubes and tubes of this and it's the To The Rescue conditioner from Naughty. Um, it's just my favourite, what can I say? There's so many great conditioners that I've used this last year and loved but this is the one that I reach for over and over. So if you want alternatives to this, I can give them to you. I can give you great suggestions for other conditioners, but this is just my per my personal favorite. And I couldn't, out of the rest of my conditioners, I couldn't pick one over the others that stood out to me um, as much as this one. So yeah, it's all by itself in this category, it's special. It has protein, it has great slip in my hair. And just for me, it's just the best conditioner for my hair that I have found so far. So the next category is leave-in conditioners and we have three to talk about. Um, and we have three to talk about for different reasons. So the first one I want to mention is the Curl Smith Air Dry Cream. Now, although it says it's an air dry cream, it's a leave-in conditioner. I don't know why they call it a cream, but they do. Um, it's really, as the name suggests, it's weightless. Now it says air dry cream, but I use it when I diffuse all the time. You don't have to obviously use it for air drying. I think the point of them calling it an air dry cream is that because it's so weightless, it's not gonna weigh your hair down and make your hair take ages to air dry. That's my interpretation of the name. But it's just a fabulous, fabulous, very lightweight leave-in. It's protein free and just beautiful. It just does not weigh my hair down at all. And it does contain glycerin um, and glycerin's a humectant and if you live in a very humid area or even a very, very dry area, humectants can make your hair just kind of puff up and lose definition. But this has glycerin, but it's right, 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 right down at the bottom, like the second to last ingredient. So it's a great one to use if you find that glycerin does tend to make your, your curls lose definition. So I can use this all year round and um, it's excellent. The, the second leave-in I want to mention is Umberto Giannini Banana Butter. Again, it's got that gorgeous banana scent, the same as the banana co-wash. This stuff, I don't even know how to explain how good it is. The texture of it, it's a really, really thick jelly type texture. Now I've had this for months and I've used it a lot and you can see how much I've still got left. Cause I use literally like I dip a finger in and that is all I need emulsify between my hands and it's a little bit more than a leave-in conditioner and it does actually say leave-in conditioner styling butter and I feel that it, that's that's true it has really great properties of a leave-in conditioner but it also has definite styling properties too and I just love my results when I use this it has just a tiny bit of protein um but not but it's also you know moisturizing uh, if you're worried about protein it, it has a little but I don't think it would be an issue um unless you're extremely protein sensitive it's just an excellent excellent leave-in conditioner and the last leave-in I want to mention is the Curl Keeper leave-in conditioner. Now, recently, it's probably like the last six months, I haven't reached for this as much. Reason being, my hair is actually not as protein hungry as it was six months ago. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but it's just not. So this is a excellent, lightweight, very proteiny leave-in conditioner. So if your hair is needing protein, this baby is gonna do the trick. It's amazing. It does not get enough hype in the curly community. People who have seen me rave about it and then tried it have been like, whoa, where's this been all my life? It's amazing. So I don't know why it doesn't get as much hype as I think it should. Um, probably because some people's hair is not as protein hungry, but if your hair needs protein, this stuff, it's so good. It's a very, no, I can't hear that. <laughs> it's a very runny consistency. It's really, really lightweight, easy to distribute, just an excellent leave-in if your hair needs protein. If you're not sure how to tell if your hair needs protein, I'll link my video, which explains it all for you up here. The next is like mousses and foams, and there's only one in this category, and it's the Curl Smith Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. And this is the only foam I have ever gotten on well with in my hair. Mousses I've gotten on well with in the past, I used to use them a lot, not as much these days, 
but foams, this is the only one that's ever worked for me. And it doesn't just work, it's amazing. It really is volumizing. I like to get it in at my roots um, and it just gives me a, a huge volume boost. It's excellent. It has a little bit of gentle protein in as well. It's part of that strength line from Carl Smith. The next category is creams. And there's two, two in that category. The next one is Carl Smith as well. And that's the, it kind of is like, it matches this, they go so well together. It's the Feather Light Protein Cream, super lightweight protein cream. <laughs> Just what the name suggests. Um, it's, it's an amazing, amazing cream. Really concentrated, all the Carl Smith products are really concentrated, so you only need a tiny bit. It just does the job, it really does. Um, so it's like level four hold, it doesn't give a ton of hold, but I love using this underneath a gel. It's just, it's fabulous. And the other cream I have to mention is, oh, this bottle weighs a ton, solid glass. It's the Freshly Curly Vibes Defining Cream. Now this stuff is amazing. It's almost, it's a cream, but it's almost got a little bit of something extra. Um, I can use this as a one and done styler, which I don't tend to do with creams, um, but it is really, really good. And it does give me long lasting curls. It gives the most amazing bounce and it's protein free, but there's just magic in this bottle because it gives me such springy, bouncy curls. I absolutely love it. We've only got two categories left. We're nearly there. The next category is gels. Of course, you know, we love a gel in the curly community. Curly hair and gels, a match made in heaven. The first gel I'm gonna talk about is, you probably guessed it because I rave about this all the time, it's the Curl Smith Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. This stuff just has the perfect balance for me of um, lightweight, not heavy, hold, <laughs> whilst not being like, too rigid and, and it doesn't have that producty feeling in your hair. It is, as it suggests, a flexi hold, flexible hold. I do sometimes get a cast with it, um, but it scrunches right out and it just, it gives me hold that lasts for days. I find I get days worth of curls out of this without needing to do anything. It's just one of those. If, if I if I wanna go for like a, a feel safe lineup, as if there is such a thing with curly hair, this is gonna be in it because I just love it. It's so great in my hair. The next gel I want to talk about is Only Curls, the Mega Hold Gel. This is a fabulous hard hold gel. It, it's really just excellent. What more can I say? Again, it's really lightweight. It doesn't weigh my hair down at all, but it gives um, excellent hold that lasts for days. It's just, it's fabulous. The next gel is the Curl Keeper Gel. And this stuff, um, again, it's a good strong hold. With this, what I find is on wash day, my hair has less volume. Like it gives really good hold. It gives great definition. Um, my hair just kind of seems smaller and flatter on wash day, but then I can get like five or six days without touching my hair with the stuff. Because, you know, you get the volume on day two and day three, but that definition just holds out absolutely amazingly it works really well in humid conditions as well it's just it's amazing now this is not a gel it's a hairspray and it's the bounce curl hairspray this is actually the old packaging i do have the new packaging but i've still got some left in this one and the reason i've included it in the gels is because that is how i like to use it is as a gel as a spray gel um, especially after i've added maybe some other lighter hold products to my hair um, spraying some of this through wet hair or even using it to do like this master's technique part way through when my hair is drying if I start to notice like frizz and flyaways wetting my hands spraying some of this on my hands and smoothing it through just it's insane it's so 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 good and I have had this bottle I should probably check it out I mean I've had it a really long time like I'm talking years <laughs> so yeah you should don't tell um that's how long it lasts. So, you know, Bounce Curl, it's perhaps a little bit, some, some of these products are pricier, but the quality is good and the concentration is good that it just lasts forever. Like I've still got a good, a good third of the bottle left. Don't tell me off. The last category is products I like to use to refresh my hair. And um, so Carl Smith Hold Me Softly Style Balm is not a product that was designed for refreshing but it's incredible to do a dry refresh with. I mean, it's a great product to use on wash day as a styling cream as well, but this stuff, more than any other cream that I've used, gives amazing refresh results. I'll link a video of how I do it. Um, I use just the tiniest little bit on my fingers, dry hair, no water, I, like rubbed into my hands and just literally smoothed over individual curls. And it just, it's beautiful.
Um, the next one is Hair Dance Dry Shampoo. So I put this in the refresh category because it's something I wouldn't use on wash day, it's something I would use on subsequent days to give a bit of extra volume and to freshen my scalp. And it's just incredible, like I've not found anything else like it. It's powder form and um, it does volumize. You know when you fluff your hair in between washes and you know you get more volume well this kind of helps that volume to last and to stay and if you have a greasy scalp this is going to soak up that excess oil until you can wash your hair and also they smell amazing what's this one this is the grapefruit and i think there's also a lavender scent and so they freshen your scalp help your scalp smell better as well it's just brilliant and the very last products i'm going to talk about is the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Refresh. And I actually used it today. This is day three hair, which was already looking good, but just a tiny little bit of this sprayed on my hands and smoothed over. I mean, it's day three. Amazing. I just am in love with this stuff. I don't even know what to say. I've never come across a product that was specifically designed for refreshing hair, which didn't make my hair just kind of end up feeling a bit sticky and looking a bit lackluster, but this doesn't. And it's designed to be used as a dry refresh, which suits me because that's how I prefer to refresh my hair. I don't really like to add water. Um, you just, you can spray it direct on your hair. I like to spray it onto my hands and smooth it over. Just let it air dry. And then it usually gives just a tiny bit of a cast, which I can scrunch out. And I just absolutely love it. So those are my favourites of 2021. As I say, as I was discussing these, I'm like, oh, but what about this? And like, I, I love Trelux products as well. And I love the Curl Keeper Original Styler. And I love uh, just so many other pro great, great products that I've tried and loved, but I had to cut it down somehow. So those are like my top, top, top favourites. Um, and as I said before, if you need other suggestions out with what I have, shown to you, then I can give them to you. No problem, I can give you those suggestions. But I thought, let's try and keep it to a reasonable length of a video so you don't all get bored. Those are my ultimate favorites of 2021. Um, check the description box for links and for discount codes. Um, I didn't include any like curly hair accessories. I thought I would do a separate video for that because otherwise this video would be too long. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will chat to you guys soon. Bye.